So recently, Google announced Google Duplex, which you'll be able to basically just tell the Google Assistant, make it book an appointment for you, and then it'll go ahead and actually book that appointment for you. Now, what people are really mad about, slash scared, going a little crazy, is how real it sounds. They also added the ums and ahs, and people kind of feel a little bit tricked by that. But there's some good things about it. In my opinion, I like the idea. I think it would be good for, let's say you went to a different country and you didn't speak the language, it would be a lot easier to order a pizza just typing in order pizza from Domino's or whatever they have in that place. And on both ends, it would be a lot more convenient because you don't want to be working at a pizza shop, some guy's trying to speak French to you and you're like, um, I don't know what you're saying. Do you want pepperoni? I'm lost. So definitely customer service, I feel, would have a better time with it because it would make it go a lot smoother than trying to deal with language barriers. I've worked in retail, and yeah, language barriers suck. Another thing people would use it for is just freeing up time in general. If I have a bunch of things I need to book, like it would be a lot easier to just throw it on the assistant. Like If your schedule is actually like busy, and you're not just a nobody like I am, then you'd have plenty of time <laughs> to just go ahead and book it like a regular person. But... Supposing you are someone who's actually really busy because, I don't know, you're successful in life. I could see this saving time. There's a lot of people that's just socially awkward and they can't. Like, they just cannot pick up the phone, order pizza. Like, that'll be too much for them. They don't want to have to deal with that conversation. I can see those people using this because then they could just, like, throw it on the phone. Some guy comes to your door with a pizza and, like, that's the only interaction you have to have. Like, that's the only social interaction. Those people are going to be, like, really happy about this. But at the same time, the socially awkward people, this is going to, it's kind of like coddling them. You won't really get out of that bubble because you don't have to deal with it. You could just, you know, make a AI do it for you. Then you're probably never going to do it yourself. Therefore, you'll never actually, like, grow as a person. People in general just feel really weird about talking to AI. Like, the fact that it's not a person bothers a lot of people. A lot of stuff online where people are just just going crazy, especially the fact that it sounds real. Like, that's just, that's killing a lot of people. People feel tricked in general. Apparently, making it sound robotic is tricking them, and that's bothersome. But at the same time, I don't know one person that actually likes talking to something that sounds robotic. It's annoying. I hate hearing it. Even when I'm on YouTube and I click a video and then they do that weird text speech thing, I can't stand it. Like, it just sounds so weird. In the end, I think a lot of people just hate change. Yeah, people just in general, they just hate change. You ever try to sit in someone's seat or their supposed seat? You go to like a lunchroom or something and you sit down and it's like, oh, that's my seat. It's like, well, a little change is fine. You could, you could sit elsewhere. Like, it's just a seat. But think about it, if people can't even sit in a different chair, like that's too much of a change for them. Talking to AI is just like, mind blasted, you blasted my mind. That's a Russell Peters reference. And if you don't like it, you need to get used to it because there's gonna be a lot of awkward accents from here on.